Hi everybody and welcome to the 0.65 update video. It's a bit of a lighter update this week, but there are definitely some features in there that I know some of you have been waiting for for a long time. In 0.65 your variables will now persist whenever you quick save or whenever you save any other way. So here I've created a variable and now I'll quick save and now I'll restore the quick save. Now if we open up the terminal again, we should see that the variable has the same value we left off with. Ranges for accessing the archive drive have now increased. You can now access it without an antenna as long as you're within 100 kilometers. The range of your communication system has now been increased as well. Two antennas should be enough to reach the moon, and four antennas and two comm dishes should be sufficient to span the entire diameter of the solar system. The speed of command execution has now increased. Here's a demonstration of how quickly it ran in 0.5. And here is a demonstration of the new 5 times clock speed. This clock speed may be variable in the future, but will require more power to run faster. Some new trigonometric functions have been implemented. We already had access to the basic sine, cosine, and tangent. Now you have access to arc sine. Arc cosine. Arctangent as well as Arctangent 2. You can now add parameters to your programs. Here I'm adding a parameter that can be called later. You can add more parameters by comma separating them or by putting each one on its own line. I'm going to write a simple program that takes in a direction and simply points the craft in that direction. Okay, so let's take all this and put it together into something useful, shall we? Here I've written a program that takes in a parameter that is the latitude longitude target that we want the rover to steer to. Then I'm going to steer towards it and output variables showing how far I am from the target and what the bearing of the target is. Then once I get there, within 10 meters, I'll break and clear the screen. Because we now have persistent variables, I'm already ready to go with my waypoint. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're almost there. Huh. Well, I reached my target. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Until next time, hack responsibly.